if you want to generate, transmit, store or use low carbon energy, you cannot do it without metals, an unbelievably large amount of metals. The energy transition, the low carbon world, I think is a given. The genie is out of the bottle. But what I think is, is severely lacking, and this goes all the way from the public through to policymakers, is a lack of understanding around the challenges of delivering the metals for the energy transition. If you are going to electrify the world, it'll come as no surprise, you need vast quantities of copper and aluminium to actually transmit the energy. If you're generating renewable green energy, that needs to be transmitted through wires. And there's only two options. So they are um, true energy transition metals, in my humble opinion. We have to worry about China because I can see a situation in the not too distant future where we're going to be knocking on China's door saying, a bit like Tom Twist, please, sir, can we have some of your battery raw materials because we haven't got our own? And China will say, so you want us to give you some of our battery raw materials? so that you can deliver on your energy transition and you want us to forgo ours? The answer is no. So we go short of battery or materials. And if you think about, and, and, and the analogy I use is the, I call it the, the energy transition materials restaurant. So we in the West are sitting in the, in the taxi on the way to the restaurant, reading the menu. China is at the restaurant eating its dessert. China is securing its energy transition supply chain. It is investing in lithium, it's investing in copper and cobalt, uh, and, and, and so it goes on. China owns 80% of the capacity on the battery manufacturing level, 80% or thereabouts of the precursor, 80% of the refining of these commodities. And even at the mine level, it's a bit misleading because if I look at cobalt from the DR, DRC, that's where it's located. China controls almost 50% of, of cobalt coming out of the DRC. You need cobalt at the moment for um, nickel manganese cobalt batteries. Um, if I think about nickel, again, you've got, Indonesia, uh, uh, you've got Indonesia here. China is dominating nickel supply and supply growth in Indonesia. So if we are to deliver our energy transition, we want our investable Western companies to start investing in these commodities. At the moment, they're not investing fast enough. They have huge challenges. I mean, look at Rio Tinto with its JDAR project. It would love to develop homegrown supply in Europe. Lithium, it can't do it because we all become NIMBYs when it comes to building a mine in our own backyard.